in the first term. The State Department, I mean, I think it's a relevant question. I'm not saying it's not relevant, but go no, ahead. No, no, but I think it's a question, I think it's a relevant question to ask okay. you. Um, and, you know, your predecessors do indeed sometimes address things that happened or policies that were adopted sure. prior to Policies their, is a little bit different than their, email habits, but their, go ahead. At, but there are policies, or apparently sometimes not, about email mm -hmm. habits. So the question that I have is whether the State Department looked at whether Secretary Clinton's, former Secretary Clinton's assumption that her emails to state.gov addresses would be captured uh, for archival purposes and said, yes, that's fine, or no, actually, we don't keep all that stuff automatically and it requires on the recipient to archive it, or, um, you know, I mean, did you guys look at, did the State Department institutionally look at her proposed policy to use a personal email under the assumption that emails to official addresses would be captured and say, yes, that's fine, or no, that's not fine? I'm just not in a position to speak to a conversation that may have taken place six years ago, Arshad. You haven't looked into that at all? I, I mean, just don't have more information for you. But you, 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 don't have more in, you don't have more information for me. You may have the answer, but you just don't want to say it publicly, or you don't have the answer? I don't have more information for you on a conversation that may or may not have taken place six years ago, but, Arshad. I would but, have you pose that to Secretary Clinton and her team. But why is it not a relevant question to ask the State Department which, after all, has institutional interests in complying with <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> laws and regulations mm -hmm. and maintaining the historical record. Of course we do, and that's why we've taken steps like sending a letter to former secretaries. We also sent a letter uh, recently to former staff asking that if they should become aware uh, or in the future are aware or become aware in the future of a federal record in their possession, such as an email sent or received on a personal email account while serving in their official capacity at the department, that such record may be made available to the department. So, of course, we've taken steps in order to make sure as, as much information is archived as possible. Do you know whether or not there was any <clears throat> effort on the part of the State Department as an institution, presumably, by the legal advisor's office, although maybe this is something that comes under manage, management, I don't know, to look at the proposed email practices and make a decision on whether they were appropriate given the existing policies and statutes? I certainly understand your question. I don't have more information on whether a conversation may or may not have taken place six years ago. I don't know that I will. Well, when did you send